Bottlenose dolphins. We seem to know them so well. They are the most common species of dolphin in the world. Because of the species ubiquity, the bottlenose dolphin is one of the most intensively studied species of dolphin. And one thing that researchers have learned is that there is more of the bottlenose dolphin than meets the eye. The Ecker College Dolphin Project was started in 1993 by the late Dr. John Reynolds, it is now headed by Dr. Shannon Gowans and Dr. Peter Simard. It's the longest running undergraduate-based dolphin research project in the world, celebrating its 25th anniversary in 2018. The Eckerd College Dolphin Project is unusual in that um, it focuses entirely on undergraduate research, unlike many other programs which involve graduate students as well. So while students are supervised by us, our undergraduate students are fully involved in all aspects of the research, from coming out and collecting the data on their own to analyzing the data in the lab as well. Many of these students complete undergraduate theses, independent projects, or attend scientific conferences and publish papers and journals, achievements that are normally reserved for masters and doctoral students. Some use their dolphin project experience to launch careers in marine science. One of the things that was really awesome about my time with the Eckerd College Dolphin Project is it allowed me to have the opportunity to experience the field surveys and apply them to science. And, and it was also then that I realized that I wanted to be a marine mammal conservationist and that you need to take that science and apply it to how to protect dolphins in the wild. So it really gave me that foundation for understanding what goes into um, the field work, translating into the science, and then feeding into the needed conservation and management. Field work is conducted on small boats in Tampa Bay and the nearby Gulf of Mexico. Visual surveys are used to determine the locations where dolphins are found and where they are not. Once a group of dolphins is found, several types of data are recorded throughout the encounter. Information on group size, presence of calves and behavior is collected, and photographs are taken of the dolphin's dorsal fins. In addition, a hydrophone, an underwater microphone, is used to record the sounds the dolphins make. However, one type of data collection the Dolphin Project performs actually doesn't involve observing the dolphins at all. The Dolphin Project has several autonomous bottom-mounted acoustic recorders deployed in the study area. These devices record sounds on a 10-second, every 10-minute duty cycle, 24 hours a day. As much as all members of the Dolphin Project enjoy the field, the real work begins back at the lab. So after a day in the field, we will bring all of our pictures that we took out on the boat back into the lab um, to go through them and ID our dolphins that we saw. So to begin, we'll go through each and every picture we took that day, um, as you can see, and then we will um, give them a temporary ID and crop them and rate their quality um, right before we put them into Darwin, which is our software program that will identify the dolphin for us. The software was originally implemented by Mark Allen, who was a double major in computer science and marine science. He worked under the direction of John Steumann, um, a computer science faculty member at that time, who um, envisioned the project from the start, who had the idea to use image processing techniques and computer vision to solve this laborious process of identifying dolphins by photos of their dorsal fins. Through photo ID analysis, ECDP researchers have learned that while some dolphins are only seen occasionally in the area, others appear to spend their entire lives here. The acoustic recordings yield valuable information on bald-nosed dolphins. Many of the sounds that dolphins make are ultrasonic, meaning the frequency or pitch of the sound is too high for us to hear. Therefore, much of the analysis of these files involves looking at the sounds on a computer. Whistles are a common sound that dolphins use for communication, and they're really good at modifying how they sound to each other. In this area around Eckerd, the researchers found dolphins will increase the frequency or the pitch of their whistles when there's competing background noise. It appears they increase whistle frequencies to be heard over the lower frequency boat noise. There seems to be no end to the questions that we can ask uh, using the acoustic data. Since its beginning in 1993, dozens of students studying biology, marine science, psychology, and other disciplines have gone on to graduate programs, jobs in conservation, management, research, and academia around the world. And Ecker College Dolphin Project researchers will continue to conduct research important to the understanding and conservation of bald-nosed dolphins and their environment, and train the scientists, conservationists, and policymakers of tomorrow. <laughs>